I've even had kids say to me, oh, if it's not a Division I school, I'm not going to play. Jeez. Don't say that. Jeez. Yeah. There, there are, there are uh, national champions at the Division I level. There are national champions at the Division II level. There are national champions at the Division Three level. There are Division Three. There are Division One schools in this country that refuse to play the national Division Three teams in this country because they don't want to get beat. It happens uh, on a particular day in a nine-inning game. I can run anybody out there. You know, it's the quality of the play and and, and the consummate coaching piece that is the difference. And um, I'm convinced about that. At any level you have, you still got to cross that little white line and get three outs. You you can cross that white line and not come back for an hour and a half. So you have to determine. I'm I'm convinced of this, Carl. I'm convinced that there's a school for every player. I I really am. I agree with you. Whether it be a Division I, II, or three school, it could be a junior college. Absolutely. An NAIA school. I, I mean, there are there are NAI schools in the middle of the country that could come east here and and beat a lot of Division One schools here in the east. There's no question about that. You know, um, people are not aware of the fact of how good these college teams are, whether they be in the NCAA or the NAI or the top junior colleges in this country. You know, you're talking about great clubs you really are you're talking about outstanding players and outstanding teams that have gotten there because of the dedication of the people recruiting them 